What's going on guys? My name's Dr. P and here are six secret tips to help you get five stars in Fortnite Festival. If you're new around here, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. When you first open up Fortnite Festival, you'll be greeted with a menu asking you to tune up various different things by matching up the sync of your button with the screen scrolling past you. It might seem like a pretty simple process and really it is, but if you mess this up or you're not paying attention, it could cause you some serious issues trying to actually play the music later on. If you're ever having serious issues and you know you're actually pressing the notes and they're not working, I would recommend going back to the stage tech behind stage and redoing the whole tune-up process. Redoing the tune-up personally really helped out in my case. Next up, this might seem really simple, but then again, Guitar Hero hasn't had a release in eight years, so it's probably worth pointing out. One of the major objectives in this game is to go for point streaks and to get notes in a row and get streaks that way, and that is how you increase your score multiplier, which is obviously key if you're going for 100% accuracy. If you miss a note at any point along the way, your multiplier will go back to one. It's always important to try to stretch together as many notes in a row as you can, especially in the sequences during the song that are per se easier. Next up, I've got a personal little anecdote here that I'm sure many of you guys can relate to. So the controls are the same controls as we had during the Big Bang event when they had the Eminem concert. During that event, I remember thinking to myself, wow, these controls are really, really strange, but I just kind of wrote it off. But when I loaded up Fortnite Festival again this morning, it did not feel any better. It felt still very vague and foreign. But after a while, maybe like six or eight songs in, I started to get it and I started to really that the major issue here with these controls are the middle two nodes, aka in my case right on the D-pad and the X button, but if you're on PlayStation it would be square. There's something about my brain and apparently after looking at it, a lot of people's brains that just start glitching out really when you first start getting used to the game. It's like sometimes I think my right thumb is my left thumb and I just start pressing random buttons sometimes, but after I got used to it, it's actually really, really effective. It would be really cool if Epic would make a controller that was a guitar or something that would help you play this with a little bit more accuracy and a little bit better overall feel. But trust me, if you're struggling with the controls, just keep at it. Maybe play some beginner tracks and some medium tracks and just get used to it. You'll eventually get it. Throughout the course of playing songs and playing a set, you will notice some very light colored, very small notes on the track. These are called lift notes. And the crazy thing about lift notes is you can actually hold the button down from the previous note and then simply release the button to play it instead of pressing the button twice. While you can press the button twice, it's probably not the smartest idea long term to get into that habit. The reason I say that is simple. It's just easier to not have to press the button more than you have to. I really had to rewire my brain not to keep pressing it twice because at first I thought it was easier, but trust me, if you get into the habit of playing the lift note the way it was intended, you'll be happy you did once you start playing the hard difficulties. There's this feature called overdrive that is activated by pressing the right trigger, and when you do so, it doubles your score multiplier for a limited time. The way you build up your overdrive meter to do overdrive more often is by accurately hitting the glow note these orange notes that will appear from time to time. It's a really useful feature, but I found it to be pretty problematic for my learning experience, at least from the perspective of combining that with the brain glitching going on from trying to figure out those controls. I found myself often trying to activate overdrive in the middle of an important sequence in the song, and then I would just miss like eight or 10 notes in a row trying to recover. If you want my advice, I would say to simply ignore the overdrive for your first set of four songs and then think about doing the overdrive after that focus on learning the controls and nailing the notes as best you can and then start incorporating the overdrive that is unless there's a big break in the song and you can go ahead and activate it there to test it out to put it simply the overdrive feature as well as chaining together a lot of notes in a row that's what's going to get you into the five star range and have you on top of your friends leaderboards that's why it's crucial to utilize overdrive in a very efficient way and maximize everything you're getting from it after you master the controls you should not be using overdrive in a break where there is a lot of no notes coming your way 
therefore just basically wasting your double multiplier. You should be activating overdrive when there are a lot of sustained notes. Those are especially good coming your way or just a lot of notes on the track flowing your way in general. That's a good time to activate it. But again, using overdrive in the middle of a lot of notes, that's going to be tricky for you until you are very comfortable with the controls. If you're still here at the end, I think that deserves a subscription. Make sure to comment the word imploded Cheeto down below and we'll see you later.